and welcome back to Glow Technology. Today we have the new CAT S61, which we have been waiting for for quite a while. This is an upgrade to the CAT S60, which launched about two years ago, um, and has been, as I say, long awaited. Um, the S60 was the first phone to feature an integrated thermal camera, and the S61 kind of doubles down on that feature, which we'll be looking at in just a moment. So just checking the side of the box, um, fully integrated thermal imaging. Um, the main camera has an underwater mode. We've got a very large battery, four and a half thousand milliamp hours. Um, the whole phone is completely ruggedized. If you're familiar with cat phones, that would be no surprise. Um, some new features, a volatile organic compound sensor. We'll go into that in more detail in, in a video uh, where we focus on some of the individual features of this phone. Area distance measurement laser, again, we'll, we'll cover these in, in depth in a different video. And waterproof to three meters, which is further than most phones that are IP rated. You normally see about one or one and a half meters. So double the, or more than double the standard distance. Um, this is the full packaging. And on the back, you get your usual RMEI stuff. So let's pop him open and take a look. In the phone itself, very glossy front. There is a factory applied screen protector on here, which is why it's such a glossy finish. But I'll, we'll turn that on in a moment. Inside, we've got a pre production unit, so this isn't a retail box. So, all I've got in here is a USB cable and some documentation. Um, the retail stock will have a mains charger. That probably will be it. There's um, uh, traditionally, Cat don't put a lot of accessories in there, so there might be some earphones, there might not. We'll, we'll add that to our website when we find out the full retail box. Um, so onto the phone itself, uh, taking a quick look at it, it is very similar to the other Cat devices, if you've ever seen those, and extremely similar to the previous Cat S60 in terms of its thickness, its weight, its shape. Um, very much follows the kind of cat design language that has been refined over the last few years. So, um, I mean, it is a thick phone. Uh, in comparison, this is my this is my daily Sony Xperia XA2, which is by no means a super thin phone anyway. And you can you can already see it's almost twice the thickness, um, and that is because it has a fully reinforced chassis. This is designed to be used by tradespeople. This is designed to be used outdoors. This can take some serious knock. Um, the Cat S60, we've seen a few come back from people that have given them a bit of a beating over their time and um, and they still work. <laughs> they've sent them back for, for an inspection and so when they've got dents and they've got scratches and, and they last. They are built for that purpose. So taking a look at the actual um, front of the phone, we've got physical Android navigation keys here. So you won't get those on the screen. So we've got these here and they've got a decent amount of click and travel. Um, and that's useful if you're outside and you, you know, you're wearing, maybe wearing a pair of gloves and you can't interact with the screen quite so much. You can get a physical click on it. And it's a nice, it's a nice um, feel in the hand. We've got here down the side, we've got the volume buttons and I'm oh, sorry, these are the volume buttons and this is the power button here and this is where the volatile organic compounds sensor is. So these holes here, these are what let air in, and there's a sensor inside there that checks the air quality. I say we'll go into more detail in that in, in another video, um, but that's where it is. So if you cover that, then you'll get bad readings. Um, on the left hand side, we've got the SIM and SD trays. So we've got one SIM in there, and then we've got a uh, a SIM or SD. So this is hybrid. Um, previous cat phones allowed you to have two SIMs and an SD. This is just two SIMs or one SIM and an SD. So that is then there on the top. And these these are quite tight, these, these port covers. Um, I think previous cat phones, people have been a little bit wary of them, especially if they get opened and used a lot. I mean, with the SIM and SD, you're not that likely to pull them open a lot. Um, but with a lot of use the previous ones wore down. This is, these are very tight in comparison. The same with the headphone, ah, there we go. So that does have a rubber attachment. Um, but again, the, the connectors and the, the build on these is a lot more solid than it was um, in some of the previous devices. And on the bottom, you've got the USB. This one pops open a lot more easily and 
that is probably because you're going to be using it more regularly and the USB port is waterproofed itself so um, there is additional protection under the flap you should of course close it when if it's going to be in contact with liquids but um, this has a level of protection inside it as well and then next to that we've got the main speaker just there on the back this is where the magic happens so here is the FLIR camera lens so this is the thermal imaging sensor and there is the FLIR branding there. Underneath we have the 16 megapixel main camera so you can take your normal pictures and this is what creates the overlay for the, the thermal image. Uh, there's a very powerful LED flash here. We've got the cat branding and a tasteful silver. The back of the phone, rubberized. Um, they've done that on their most recent phones, cat. There's a lot of grip, these don't slide on shiny surfaces. Um, very tactile finish. We've got a laser radiation warning because this here is the distance sensing laser. Um, again, a future video will actually show that working. We're just doing a, an overview here. Uh, this will give you an accurate reading up to 10 meters. So you, you point the phone and it fires out the laser and it reflects back and then it tells you how far away something is. Um, and there has to be a laser warning because it is a class two laser product. Class two meaning that it's not, um, it's not in the more dangerous categories of lasers, so um, not that likely to, to damage your eyes with it, but you obviously should avoid ever shining this directly at someone's eyes. Um, but the as a lower class laser, the reflection or refraction in the air from the laser is, is not inherently dangerous as you would find with higher class 3B or even class 4 lasers, which some people do have access to. Um, and then into the software briefly, we have a pretty clean Android 8.1 installation. Um, you've got all your standard Google applications as you'd expect. We've got the cat own applications, that's for the laser measuring tool, this is for the air sensor, so you've got an interface to, to use both of those. The app toolbox, that is a bunch of, it's, it's a storefront for apps which cat think will be useful for their target market. Um, Flir tools, this allows you to um, modify and adjust the settings for the thermal sensor. We've got two camera applications, so on the right is your standard camera and in the middle is your FLIR camera. And oh, Facebook isn't pre-installed, that's me installing that as my standard uh, testing with the phone, neither is DevCheck, so these are, these are my applications. There's very, very little in the way of third-party applications, so you've just got these cat apps, the Google apps, and that's pretty much it. Um, and, and the basic Android apps. There's very little else on there. There's almost no bloat at all, um, which is nice to see. Um, if you scroll down the apps, you'll see. There is AVG antivirus. That's probably one of the only few bloatware apps, but you can completely uninstall that, which is nice to see. It's not been made into a system app. Um, you can just go into the settings and just get rid of it. The same with Office Suite. That is there when you first get the device. And again, if you don't want it there, if you don't want to take up space, you can just completely get rid of that. Um, so there we are, that is the Cat S61. Uh, in a couple of videos after this, I'm gonna do a comparison next to the original S60. You can see the differences in the size and shape. I'm gonna show the actual FLIR camera working um, and some of the things you can do with that, uh, as well as the volatile organic compounds and the laser measuring. So we're gonna do a few videos on the S61 because there's there's a lot to cover and it's too much for, for one quick unboxing video. So. There is the device in the hand. Uh, thanks for watching and hopefully you'll tune in to the rest of this series.